All right, people, it's been a while since I've been making a, a talk about the SPY uh, because a lot of my plans are based on individual stocks. And, uh, you know, the SPY has been really, as you can see, has been really choppy. And I call it in a bullish chop zone. But let's let's talk about the key facts. Why is the SPY still going to go higher? Uh, despite that I'm seeing a lot of bearish uh, setups, um, they still we still have to see how many can really confirm, how many could really, you know, make directional moves. Um, but um, I mean, there's been, like I said, this mar this market's been a stock picker's mark. But let me talk about the facts and let's take a look at the charts. I want to talk about Apple, Tesla, and Amazon as uh, the are these are key to why the spy is going to try and test uh, two four uh, two forty or go higher this year. Uh, this is not a spy plan, but just just to talk about the reasons why and and proof and 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 a process versus just guessing like many people uh, that have no idea what to, they're they're talking about. Uh, which is a lot of people on on stock twits in my opinion uh the spy is still in a bullish chop zone uh 231 and 230 are still strong key support zones but why will the spy bounce still and can also test new highs this year people well like i said apple tesla and amazon are very strong still and i have explained that this market is a stock picker's market in this chop zone the key is not to guess but to have a solid plan and that's what i do and that's right people i'm going to be posting a plan for tsla and we're going to see if we can confirm this plan right and but i'm i'm pretty sure that there's a good chance it's going to confirm but you know what you, you don't want to take anything unless it confirms so but i believe that there's going to be a process and it will confirm it may it may confirm in a choppy manner and there may be a no go but the key is is that Apple still is very strong and I'm going to explain that and Tesla and Amazon let's go take a look at the charts people but another fact is I want to talk about this Nvidia but let's go look at the charts just to give a new scenery here all right so here we are at the charts here and I'm going to type in Apple here I want to just talk about something you know let's talk about this in common sense terms uh, this is why I did this so you know you can see here uh, you know Apple had earnings um, and the last time it had earnings I mean we've had a really I call it a frozen rope. We had a directional move, and the last high that it made, and we're still above it though. But consider this being a pivot point. Okay, this is what I want to make a point of. See the March the second. I consider this a pivot point. Notice that, despite the market pulling back, despite the market, this had a bit of a directional move. I talked that this would be very hor horrible to trade options. You know what? There was money to be made, but it was very little in, in comparison to other plans I had. It was very little, and. The fact of the matter is Apple needs to really regain 145 uh, to really start, I, I believe, making directional moves. But we might get another chance to enter. I don't know right now yet. I, I, you know, I'm not going to talk about this right now. But what I'm saying is this stock is bullish through the roof still in what I call a bullish job zone. And um, this is one reason why the market can go higher. In a bearish market, a market that's going to collapse, um, the stock would have collapsed a lot more but its gains if you think about it if you make this as a marker okay I want to make a point here if you make this as a marker right Apple is still up and you've got to think differently but I'm looking at keep key levels right it's still up so strong as hell support too would be in that 138 area okay not present you cannot see this with the visionary line I, I mean uh, with, with moving averages but 38 in my opinion is a very strong uh, support area and even as long as the stock as long as Apple stays above 138 that is another bullish sign it's held its gains that's not bearish action it's not a market of fear <clears throat> there's big money in holding up this stock <laughs> You know, pe 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 you know anyone shorting this stock, they don't know. Look, at, if you want to short a stock, uh, I want to make a point here. A anybody talking about shorting Apple is, doesn't know about trading. This is a stock you want to short, right? This was a signal around over here, and this had actually, I actually had a plan. We were shorting this move here. I didn't follow through hold, but you know, this thing here is a stock you short. This, look at the fall, right? That's a stock you short. Not an apple. <laughs> Stupid. Anyway, <laughs> I have to laugh. You know, I have to laugh at some of these yo-yo bird shorts. Or even Tesla. Let's put up Tesla people together. Now look at this trend of this stock, right? This stock became bullish here. 
I had a plan where we caught this day here for a 300% gains. Okay, the options in in that video that I explained, they triggered. They were 300 calls. They triggered at about a buck 30. Between this day and this day, they had a high of. I, not that I held it to this day. Those options. I went. I went into other ones, and they didn't follow through. I had to go in again, but I didn't. I had to. You know, there wasn't much profits to be made. But the key of the matter is that this stock here made 300 and look at this if you were to look at this and here's another point i want to make so this was a solid move would you agree new highs look at the stock is still you got to look at the key listen to me you have to look at key markers this was the first new high is tesla above the first new high and that's with with a bearish market even above the moving average we bouncing but what's bearish about this stock <laughs> Listen, there, there, there's a lot of listen. Anybody talking negative about the stock is, doesn't understand anything. Look at the trend is the trend. The trend is up, right? So I make plans now. If you want to listen to people who don't actually trade, can't make money, like you, look, think about how much does it cost to to go uh, to buy a hundred shares of of Tesla? Quite a bit, right? But with the options. Two to three thousand dollars, you could you could control a thousand shares of, of 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 Tesla with my plans and make money. So people with small accounts can make money if they know what they're doing, or people with large accounts, right, who 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 want to buy a hundred calls. Huge gains can be made with options if you know what you're doing, right. But you need good timing skills, and what I do is try to capture moves, right. Didn't capture this because this part here is chopped. Try to catch this day. I couldn't catch much in this, and then I avoided for confirmation. They pull it back. It doesn't har harm me. But the fact of the matter is, if we look at this break point, Tesla is still higher. Right, people? That is the facts. Tesla is still higher, and that's how you have to think of things. Right? What is bearish about and and then if market was so bearish a stock that people call overvalued could it per could it doesn't matter that Elon Musk tweets or whatever people excuses they want to make the charts speak this stock is bullish as hell and until otherwise I would be looking to only take longs on this only longs there are better stocks to short FDX for example I showed it in the plan in in this video then we have Amazon here. Amazon made this monumental move, right? And its retracement still is less than 50% of that move. But the stock made new highs. And if we were to measure, again, a key level, now the way I look at things is this was the first strong breakout level, right? So Amazon is still above key moving averages and above this key breakout zone. It's going to need time to make a pattern, but I think that my opinion, when we get the right confirmation, this one is going to go higher. There's too much support, and this move that it made was monumentally amazing. And what? So while people were trying to short to spy, how much money could you have made going? I never, I didn't catch this. wasn't paying attention to Amazon, but I would be crying instead of looking whoever looked to short this for crumbs. That was hard work. This month, the money was made here. <laughs> Stupid, stupid, stupid people out there. I have to say it, people. Stupid people out there. All right, people. If you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, I suggest you subscribe to it. Power Target Trades. See the Sandra Power Trigger Trade? It's going to appear here in a circle format. Simply click on it, and it's going to give you an easy way to subscribe. But before we get to that end of the video, I want to make a point that I will be making new plans for TSLA. Okay. And that... I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be calling uh, the entry everything the all, everything I'm going to be I did it like we're going to be doing this especially for for Tesla because I believe that Tesla is I'm going to make a new plan for Tesla again. Listen, it has to confirm, right? I mean, Tesla could be chopping, could need time, but is it going lower anytime soon? Doubt it, and I don't really care because I'm looking for confirmation. I'm not jumping in. I'm not long that with shares. Okay. I've been trading it more with options. I am long. Uh, I've been a long-term investor in Apple, uh, but other than that, I, I trade options. Okay. The whole purpose of of my of my channel is that I can help people make money with options. Whether you have a th 
whether you're just investing four hundred five hundred dollars with a solid plan you can make big money and Tesla I guarantee you that Tesla trade on April the 3rd and I called that out on my stream and I want to show you this actually let me let me show you this people all right people I'm on power trigger trade and I want to show you this here April the 3rd at 9:39 a.m. I said Tesla wait for a break of 288 one could use the April 07 300 calls for today if not avoid this could be setting up for, for a big move higher so what I was saying was this and believe, be, at, at the time that I posted this Tesla was below a 288 now look look at this April 03rd I posted Tesla breaking out those April 07 calls uh, April 07 300 calls triggered at the 130 area this means that's where I entered okay and that was the cost of the options now the options before they triggered okay that I made a plan on March the 27th this is documented in the video but I wanted to explain this but I didn't explain it as well is that those options same options in that March 27th video where uh, they actually costed uh, 73 cents and they hit a high of six dollars by April the 4th okay so the point is I make calls and I called this out and if anybody and in this and if, if you were if you were ready to take Tesla like I was okay between here and here there was plenty of time this thing here basically how how I got triggered into this I simply I put in a buy stop um, order and it just got triggered boom, 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 boom right and I got in easily into this thing easy it was very easy to get in uh, and pay 130 and these options at the end of the day hit four dollars and then the next day they actually which I wasn't in the next day they actually hit as high as six I mean because they pulled back to about two bucks and then they went right up to as high as six right because it was in the money a lot in the money right so there you have it people you know that's plans and nobody most people who talk about shorting they don't have these plans they don't they haven't done stuff like this so this is proven here I mean and and my videos are all documented for you to see all right people again I'm gonna be making a new plan see the center power trick or trade Sandra Power Trigger Trade is going to appear here in a circle format. Simply click on it. It's going to give you an easy way to subscribe to my uh, my Power Target Trade. It's got a lot of great links. Power Trigger Trade on, on Twitter. My my website, Power Target Trade, is over there where I have a lot of great documented video. Thanks for listening. Like the video.